John Texter has reportedly made a bid for Everton, a second bid for Everton Football Club. The problem with this is, is that apparently he's still got to sell the shares in Crystal Palace. Although stories today, certainly in The Guardian, suggest that Texter has got buyers for his shares. He just wants a little bit more money. Why wouldn't you? Um, he was someone who was very vocal, uh, what, six, eight weeks back, something like that, about what a great opportunity it would be to buy Everton Football Club. Then, of course, the interest was drummed up and the free can group eventually uh, got the exclusivity period. Um, but Texter apparently is back in the hunt for Everton Football Club. There are supposed to be other investors who are speaking to Farab Mashiri as well with um, with the... The hope that they can convince them to sell them their 94.1% shareholder in Everton Football Club. But I, th- I just thought it's interesting, this one, because he sort of kicked off the last wave of bids. So I'm just wondering whether he's a, what is it, a stalking horse? Is that the right, I don't know whether that's the right phrase. Um, and he'll, you know, bring others. Is he the... Is he the honey trap for other investors? Who knows? Or does he want to buy Everton Football Club? We have to wait and see. But it is being widely reported that John Texter has made another bid for Everton Football Club today. Uh, Everton has also apparently been told today that Wilfred Nonto can leave Leeds United for Everton if Everton paid £25 million. That's what Leeds United want for the winger. Everton have been very interested in Nonto for well over a year now. Thought they'd had a deal agreed with Leeds early in June, um, but that didn't happen. And I've been told now that the magic price for the Italian winger is £25 million. Everton are thought to need to bring in uh, some money from sales of players before they can move for the winger. So Everton have got, I think, four or five players, haven't they? You've got Michael Keane, Mason Holgate, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Abdelai Decore, Neil Mopai, all out of contract in the next 10 months. Sure, the manager certainly doesn't want to lose Decore right now. Um We'll wait and see, but Everton are going to, it seems anyway, have to bring in some cash first before they could move for Wilfred Nonson. Delhi has returned to first-team training. Uh, he has continued his rehabilitation across the summer from a groin injury that kept him out the whole of last season. But he has been pitched at Goodison Park, uh, Everton going through their paces at Goodison Park. Delhi back in and around first-team training last week, and the pitches are out there today. He is under the um what's what's the title of him at the moment i guess would be called a trialist that's what he is at the moment i sure and sean dice will, will arrange another bounce game at finch farm something like that to see if he can uh what he can do in that <clears throat> it'll be interesting to see whether he does get offered a contract i've said on lots of our shows this week if the manager feels like he's fit enough to be worthy of a contract then i'm sure every evertonian will be behind him if he isn't then he won't and he'll move on. So, But he is back in first team training, has been pictured today with the main group. And finally, Everton play their final pre-season friendly uh, of the summer tomorrow at Goodison Park. The game kicks off at five o'clock against AS Roma. It remains to be seen whether Dan Freakin will take up a position in the director's box tomorrow to watch the game against the club he thought he was buying about four weeks ago. There is some suggestions he hasn't totally walked away. Who knows? Who knows? But is uh, the club he currently owns, AS Roma, our Evans opponents tomorrow at five o'clock. Should be a very interesting game. That one at Goodison as the Blues bring down their final pre-season friendly ever at Goodison Park. It's uh, going to be an interesting game, that's for sure. And I can't wait. That is it for the new stadium. Make sure you check out the Joe Parkinson interview over on our More Than A Game channel and the Inside The Game podcast. He is the latest guest. It's well worth it. Go and give it a watch. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and have a fantastic weekend. See you later.